Hello and welcome to the channel. My name is Mike. So glad to have you here. If you like what you see and hear today, please give the video a thumbs up. And if you really like what you see and hear, go ahead and give the channel a subscribe. I sincerely would appreciate it. So as the title of the video suggests, we are going to be talking about you, yourself, thinking about getting into the world of premium cigars. This video is going to be a video you don't want to miss because I'm going to give you what I consider to be the best way to get yourself eased into the world of premium cigars. If you're thinking about doing that, this video is for complete beginners. Okay, and at the end of this video, I will suggest an amazing cigar that you all can go and you can all f uh, flex to your friends, okay, as being a new, uh, a new entry into the world of premium cigars, okay. Uh, before we get started, the alcohol I'm drinking tonight, um, by the way, I don't really drink much alcohol anymore. I genuinely don't. Uh, but this is, uh, this is just simply sherry, okay, which is, if I do drink, that's actually what I drink now. Okay, uh, <laughs> I had bought a, uh, a, a one and a half liter bottle of sherry for a little get together I had about a month ago. We just cracked into it and uh, we never really got really much through it. So uh, this bottle of sherry has been basically, well, it's, it's had about a month now to aerate. And uh, well, it's okay. It's, it's, uh, hmm. it's okay, it's fine. Um, I gotta, I gotta drink it though. Uh, normally when I drink sherry, uh, I drink it in a, a much smaller glass. It's the same glass as this, exactly the same. Probably about that tall, that big, a little sherry. Uh, I don't know, I don't know, what, what do you call those really small glasses? I don't know. Anyway, um, <laughs> but, uh, a one and a half liter bottle would normally probably take me about three months to get through. I mean, that's how little I drink, folks. Um, you know, I, it's just, it's just a choice, right? I don't, I don't want to be smoking cigars being a little bit overweight, and then drinking this, um, you know, drinking alcohol like a fish. Uh, my diet's pretty much under control, but, you know, I'm just trying to limit all the bad things, okay? Limit my vices. There we go. Um, you got to choose one, folks. You got to have at least one vice, and premium cigars is the one that I choose. Now, you're looking to get into the world of premium cigars. Uh, this is, uh, this video is going to be based off my own experiences, things that I wish that I did differently, and uh, things that are going to help you. Okay, so when I got into the world of premium, uh, premium cigars, I had a bad experience, okay? And I got into the world of premium, uh, premium cigars, I can't say that for some reason. I got into the world of premium cigars, probably like the way most people get into it, which is they just take a recommendation from a friend. They're just like, oh yeah, you know, here you go, this, this is good. And it ended up being a, a disaster because I ended up just not liking it. Uh, it was like a, I, I would say the, uh, I would say it was like a medium bold to like bold cigar. It was like a real kick in the face, honestly, because up till that point, I had, um, let's see, I was like 26, 25, 26, when I had my first uh, premium cigar. And up to that point, I had not smoked anything else other than cigarettes. And even then, I had only smoked probably about, oh, I don't know, three packs of cigarettes in my entire life. I mean, I smoked nothing. And, uh, Boy, it gives me this thing and, and just like, bam, you know, I know it's just a bad experience. Uh, it's quite an embarrassing story, actually, but I'll tell it, I'll tell it uh, sometime here on the channel. So, okay, so that's how you can normally do it. Uh, that's how people usually do it. They just kind of jump into it. But, um, but that's not going to be the way I suggested, okay? And by the way, there is no right and wrong answer to this, okay? Folks, there isn't. So don't, so don't get all upset and don't get mad. It's just a suggestion. You can either take it or leave it. I'm not trying to sell you anything. I don't, you know, I'm just out here just doing what I do, okay? So first things first, you're going to want to go online and you're going to want to find a website that reviews cigars or a YouTube channel, you know, watch the videos, whatever. It doesn't, doesn't really matter. You're going to want to look for one thing and one thing only, okay? You're going to want to look for flavor profile, right? Or something called the flavor profile or flavors. Because cigars have flavors, okay? Cigars have all different kinds of flavors. Many of them, uh, many different flavors within the same cigar, okay? As you smoke this cigar, the flavors might change, but all that stuff is kind of nuanced at this point, right? Because you're just beginning. You're going to want to go through and you're going to want to read the reviews and you're going to want to look for things like, uh, look, look for words like fruity. Look for words like mocha, or cream, chocolate, earthy, leathery, all those kinds of uh, adjectives there. You're going to want to look for those, okay? 
And you're going to want to write down a list of things, or you know, type it in the notes app on your phone, of some of the flavors that you think you might like. Okay? Simple enough. That's all you want to be concerned about at this point. Okay? I know, you know, a lot of, a lot of guys when they want to get in, what are they concerned about? They're concerned about two things. They're concerned about, you know, how big the damn thing is. They, you know, they want some big bastard cigar. And they want to like a certain brand because they want to look like top G, okay? You know, sitting there smoking a big fat one. You know, whatever brand they think is amazing and the best and uh, expensive because, you know, oh, it must, if it's expensive, it must be the best. <laughs> Just for flexing, you know, really. Um, by the way, a little, a little, uh, a little hint here that I'll throw your way—a little bit of a, a little bit of a, a good thing that you guys are going to want to know is if you're looking at price range, most, most really good cigars, a lot of really good cigars, I should say, are going to be found within the price range of seven dollars and fifty cents up to twenty-five dollars. Okay, so in my experience, that's, that's, I mean, that that actually really is the normal range of premium cigars. Now, of course, you could get. I mean, you could get crazy expensive with cigars. You can go, uh, I mean, I got cigars in my humidor, you know, $100 a stick. All right, so for a single cigar, I got $300 a stick, okay? You can go crazy. But I always find myself coming back to cigars probably in that, you know, that range, that $750 um, to $25 range. There's just, there's just so many great cigars in that range. So that's really where you're going to want to be at. So, okay, so you got your flavor uh, notes that you want, that you might think you like. Great. What you're going to want to do is you want to go on Google, and you're going to want to search the best rated cigar shop in your area within a reasonable driving distance, okay? The best. Best rated. Now, some of you are going to say, whoa, whoa, hang on. Now, now why, now, whoa, why do I got to go into a cigar shop? Why? Why are you making me do this? Why can't I just listen to you? Why can't I just listen to this guy online? And why can't I just go buy a cigar? Now you can do that. Like I said, there's, a, there's, there's no right or wrong answer in this video. But I'm going to tell you the reason why you're going to want to go in. Alright? You're going to want to go in because, I'm just going to be honest, so don't take this offense, but stop being a loser. Stop sitting behind your computer. Get out and talk to somebody. Okay? The world of premium cigars is a man's game. Okay? The world of premium cigars, what it really boils down to is men with money getting together and talking business, right? Having that camaraderie with each other. That's really what cigars is all about. It's not about the show. It's not about, oh, look, you know, I'm, <laughs> you know, uh, like Schwarzenegger when I was growing up. He always had that cigar. He looks so cool, okay? It's not about looking cool, necessarily, okay? It's about camaraderie. It's about uh, getting and meet, you know, getting out and meeting people. That's what it's about. So you need to get off your butt and you need to walk into that cigar shop and you need to talk to somebody. Okay? Don't be weird. Okay? Just get out and do it. That's it. Um, <laughs> you know, um, you want to know why, you, why you're maybe so depressed all the time? Uh, maybe it's because you don't get out enough. I don't know. Again, I'm not trying to be offensive. I'm not trying to. Be, I'm just telling them like it is. Okay, if you want to get into this game, if you want to get into the world of premium cigars, get out and talk to somebody. Not only that, but if you get out there and you find a really good cigar shop, uh, you know, a really good premium cigar shop, and uh, you get to know the owners or you get to know the people that work there. Okay, uh, here in the United States, of course, you know, uh, we don't get Cuban cigars. Um, maybe, maybe not. You know, these. Uh, <laughs> these guys might get some Cubans in, okay? They might get some in, all right? That, uh, and they might be willing to sell you some under the table, you know? Maybe, possibly. I'm not saying that I've ever, you know, bought any, but, you know, I don't know any shops that sell any, but, because, uh, you know, because, uh, you know, it's not like I got any good relationships with people. Um, but, yeah, you know, you get to know people. You get to talk. You get to learn a bunch of things, Okay. You get some rare cigars, you get some really great stuff that you could you know, possibly get. So I, I, would, I would suggest that. Get out and talk to somebody. Plus when you're there, you get, to, you get to actually hold the cigar. You get to see the different sizes, okay? And get a feel uh, for the ring gauge and uh, just, just get a feel for the cigars. And you learn something. 
Okay, but what you're going to want to do is you're going to want to walk in and you're going to talk to someone there and they're going to basically point you in the right direction. You know why? Because you're going to be honest. You're going to be really honest. You're going to say, look, I'm new to this. You're not going to walk in and act like you know everything and just, you know, you know strut, strut around the shop and just be like, oh yeah, you know, give me, uh, you know, that one there. That, that looks fancy. You know, no, just be honest. Be like, look, this is, this is what I'm doing. I want to get into premium cigars. These are the flavor profiles, the notes that I think I might like. Can you point me in the right direction? which at that point they will, okay? Now, some cigar shops um, will push a particular brand. I, I know I'm gonna get this probably in the comments too. People are like, well, you go to a cigar shop, they're gonna push a particular brand on you, okay? You're gonna, they're, they're gonna push a brand. Some places, um, I don't know, maybe Ashton, you know, they, they got Ashton on like the outside. It's like David's Cigars, you know, but they got like a big Ashton sign or something or or aging room, or whatever it is, you know, whatever, whatever they, 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 they push. Again, it doesn't really matter at this point, okay? It doesn't matter. It's just about getting your feet wet. Like I said, by the way, I'm about to give you that very first cigar that you should be asking for and you should be trying, okay? Actually, really, three cigars. You should be three to five. Go and sp uh, prepare to spend three, uh, for three to five sticks of cigars, okay? Now, they're gonna point you in the right direction. And you ask any other questions that you need, okay? You're gonna need a lighter, you're gonna need a cutter. Personally, myself, prioritize the lighter really before the cutter. But that's again, that's it's it's up to you. Um, but I, I would personally do that. Get a torch lighter, okay? And uh, and that's it. You know, go home. And if you gotta, you know, if if you didn't ask them how to cut it right or whatever the case is, fine. You can find that online, whatever. Uh, but the point is that you got out there, you spoke to somebody, you made a connection, hopefully, and uh, you should be good to go. So, what is this suggestion, okay? So, this suggestion here is not typically what you're going to get as a first suggestion uh, for a first-time cigar smoker. Um, and it's going to be a Maduro, okay, a Maduro cigar. And the particular cigar that I'm going to recommend today is going to be uh, the, the, the many... Uh, the manufacturer, the maker, is called Drew's Estate. Drew's Estate. And it's going to be the Drew's Estate Maduro. Okay? Your local shop there, the, the one you chose, you know, the high-rated shop, should have this cigar. If they don't have it, well, fine. You know, ask, you know, if there's, you know, what alternative there is. But I really would recommend getting a Maduro for, for one of your first cigars. Okay? One of them. You may not like it, and maybe, yeah, it's like a, let's see, the Drew's Estate Maduro. It's like a, I would say it's like a medium, okay, so it's not going to be a big kick in the face, uh, but it's going to be great. You might really like it, and Maduro cigars are, you know, you know, when, they, when, you know, when they're suggesting these cigars, they kind of leave out a big section of the market by not suggesting a Maduro cigar in the beginning. So I would definitely do that. Ask them for that, and they'll point you in the right direction for the rest. And that's really it, folks. It's that easy. I hope you all enjoy it. Uh, we're going to be ending this one, wrapping this one up. I don't want to go on for too long. Yeah, again, if you like what you hear, like what you see, go ahead, hit the thumbs up, and subscribe. I sincerely appreciate it, and we'll all see you in the next one.